Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Educate Channel. So today we are discussing the classification of the bonds. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button. So what is osteology? Osteology is the branch of anatomy which deals with the components of the skeletal system. Osteo means bone forming. Logi means to study. So it is the branch through which we will study the bone and its associated structure. Bones are the principal components of skeletal system. So osteology deals with the components of skeleton. The bones are the principal components of skeleton. So skeleton can be defined as the hardest framework of the body which supports the soft structures. So this is composed of bones, cartilages and ligaments. So for the purpose of easy description of skeleton, it is actually divided into the axial and the appendicular. So introduction. So according to the naked eye appearance, we can see it is classified on the basis of the criteria. The criteria are shape, appearance, structure and all. They are classified into seven categories. That is long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, pneumatic bones, sesamoid bones and visceral bones. So we can see all those things one by one. So what are long bones? Long bones are actually long hollow cylindrical type of bones which are found in the limbs. They are actually the weight bearing bones and act as levers. So a long bone has a body or a shaft and two expanded ends that is like a joint which will help us, uh, the bones to join to the body surface. So the shaft consists of a tube or the cylindrical compact bone and contains large medullary cavity which is filled with the bone marrow. So these bones ossify in the cartilage, example femur, humerus, radius, ulna, etc. So there are modified long bones. Some long bones like the clavicle in box, rabbit and fowl, they do not have a medullary cavity and they are considered as the modified long bones etc. the metacarpals of the dog. So this is the humerus and of ox, horse and dog. So next one is the short bones. These are actually the small piece of partially smooth surface bone mainly find in joints which help in the mobility and they have the six surfaces. So they are mainly composed of a spongy substance within a layer of compact cortical bones. So the example is carpals and tarsals. So you can see the carpal bones. Next is the flat bones. So from the name itself, we can understand that they are flat, irregular, bony plate-like structure, which will present in the area which is enclosing the important organs of the body. So the cranial skull bones, the scapula, etc. are the examples. So you can see the scapula. Next is the irregular bones. These are also small bones with rough and irregular surface, generally found in the midline of the skeleton. They are actually the vertebras. So this is a typical vertebra. Next is the pneumatic bones. So it is something related with the aviation or the air and all. Yeah. Some long bones of the birds have cavities inside their bodies which helps to reduce the weight so that air will be accommodated. That is humerus of fowl. That is a very good example. In case of mammals, some bones are considered to be pneumatic. That is frontal bone, ethmoid bone and maxilla. See the frontal bone. Next is the sesamoid bones. These are actually C same like bones that develop within a tendon and ossify after the birth, which do not have a haversian system or no periosteum. So they work as the pulley, actually, the pulley function will be having, and this is to avoid the friction. That is the patella. You can see the patella. Next is the visceral bones. These are actually found in the viscera of some animals and birds. Os penis in case of dog, os cordis in case of cattle. Os phrenic in case of camel, os opticus in case of fowl, os rostral in case of pig. So, thank you guys.